Thanks for coming, Proxy. Bellabog Industries has decided to officially start the search for the prototype. So we can finally get to work? Yes. The prototype carries important company technology. As president, I can't just leave it out there. As for finding the prototype, Grace is the expert. Sorry, but I have other things to deal with today. So you can talk to her about it. Uh, pr president wait. Grace's expression looks normal, but she's clenching her fists while she watches Coleda walk away. <sighs> Don't worry, Ben. The president isn't the kind of person to change her mind after making a decision. Yes, and that's enough for Sweet Pea. I'll find a way to deal with the rest of it. <sighs> okay, then. Let's begin, Proxy. We'll start with the incident involving the lost smart machines. After carrying out a careful inspection, I found their logic cores were functioning properly and showed no signs of being corrupted by Ether. They changed because they were receiving signals from the prototype. I'll skip the details. But the gist is, the operating power of their logic cores has been improved. That is to say, the children became smarter by communicating with the prototype. But of the three, only the pile driver, Friday, received a clear instruction. He was the one yelling about having to reinforce the seal as soon as possible. What is reinforce the seal supposed to mean? Wasn't that just part of his over-the-top delusions? Unfortunately, the little one hasn't been able to explain things clearly. But from what I gather, the prototype wanted the other machines to rush to its side. I studied the data the prototype sent them. The pile driver was the first to receive it, and it got the most data. The other two children received much less information, and the content also appeared sporadically. Also, none of our other smart machines received any communications from the prototype after these first three children went missing. Uh, so the prototype's communication module is likely incapable of actively contacting other devices anymore. Exactly. Kaleida likely realizes that, and probably regrets not making a decision sooner. But she shouldn't blame herself so quickly. Proxy, our smart machines automatically send a single byte confirmation signal when the communication module receives a message. It's a simple feature, and is likely still functional. If that's the case, we can have each of the three children contact the prototype and triangulate its location based on the signal it sends back. Time is of the essence, Proxy. When we're in the hollow, we'll leave the navigation and target location analysis to you.
Hello? Bell. Everyone with Bellabok, can you hear me? You're now in the Hollow, somewhere near the border between New Eridu and the Old Capital. Before we get started, let me remind you all. The upcoming Metro renovation project also goes through this area, and public security has yet to approve anybody for entry. <sighs> I never thought we'd end up back here. Uh, you've been here before? This was a thriving new development area before the fall of the old capital. The government and tops invested huge sums of money in construction. Even Bellabog was working on a big project in the area. But that's not important. We should start looking for the prototype. Right. Then let me explain the plan. First, we'll send the pile driver, boring machine, and heavy duty grappler to three fixed points in the hollow. Once they're all in place, Grace will turn on the signal transmission function, so each of the three machines receives the return signal from the prototype as a repeater. As repeaters, the strength of the signals forwarded by the three machines will be different. Then we'll just have to look for a good location to decode the signal and find the exact coordinates of the prototype. In addition, communication between us and the prototype mustn't be interrupted until we finish decoding the signal. Bell, the location where Grace and the pile driver are headed to is nearby. I'll take them there. You just need to join the others and deliver the other two machines to their designated places. Let's find the prototype using these three machines! Grace, take the pile driver! Leave the other two to us! Understood. I will boss it around without mercy in the same manner my master bosses me around, and it won't dare complain. Consign any obstacle to its deadly demise, as you command! Can you hear me, Proxy? The search is about to begin! I need your help gathering all the kids at the right place. External data installation detected, analyzed, and deployed. Transmitting message from the client, Grace. Hey, Proxy, I just sent you a temporary control device. You can use it to maneuver these kits. Use the device's directional controls to make the boring machine move the way you want. Our goal is to get all of them moved into position, then transmit a signal to locate the prototype. Coordinates for where the boring machine needs to go have been uploaded. By the way, the boring machine can smash through walls, but can't deal with explosives. So be gentle when piloting her. I've uploaded the data. It's up to you now. This little one has enough tonnage to detonate them. How dare you comment on a young lady's tonnage! signal, okay? Head over to the grappler, Proxy! Temporary control device deployed. Nice job there, Proxy. We're getting more signal feedback. Okay, same task. But this time, we're controlling the grappler. Grapplers are different from boring machines. 
Grapplers can handle explosives but can't smash through walls. So be careful. Careful! The grappler can't bust through walls! There's nothing a real bro can't do! Don't make things difficult, Hans. Behave yourself! All three machines have been delivered to their designated locations. Grace, do you copy? It's time to start sending signals to the prototype. Roger that. The rest is up to you, my children. It's time to call your elder. Oh. I've got it! We're getting a message back from the boring machine. All three machines are receiving a signal from the prototype! <laughs> awesome! What's going on? What's that noise on your end, Grace? It's nothing, just some ethereals. I'll deal with them in a minute. Huh, it seems the high-frequency signal from the transmitter not only affects the prototype, but gets ethereals riled up, too. No, wait. I'm detecting multiple individuals with high ether activity approaching you. I'm afraid you and the pile driver may have trouble fending them off. Stop transmitting the signal, Grace! You and the pile driver have to get out of there! Don't provoke the ethereals! No can do, Sweet Pea. Didn't the proxy say we can't let the transmission be interrupted until we decode the signal? I'm ordering you to stop transmitting immediately! We'll try again, after we've dealt with the ethereals! I'll be frank, Koleda. The prototype is sending a signal, but the time interval between replies is getting longer and longer. That means the prototype's communication module no longer has the power to send confirmation replies for every message. If we stop now, we won't get a second chance. The prototype's logic core is vital to Bellabog, so I can't give up that easily! Don't be stupid, Grace! It's not about whether you give up or not! You can't handle that many ethereals by yourself! Even without the prototype, we can still develop new tech. That'll have to do, Koleda! My guests have arrived! I can't greet them properly while talking to you! Wait! Don't go! Grace! Damn it! Why does nobody ever listen? Proxy, we have to go save her! Warning. High risk hostiles detected. They are rapidly approaching Grace's location. Not good. We have to go help her. Come on! 
doing this for Bellabog Industries and Coleda. But if something happened to you, how would Coleda face all of this? <sighs> I'm sorry. I shouldn't have disconnected. All I was thinking about was how I could possibly deal with the ethereals while staying in communication. I was confident I could hold off until you arrived, but I didn't explain myself clearly, nor did I consider your feelings. For that, I'm sorry. <sighs> It's over now. I'm just glad you're all right. You two clearly care about each other. If you could just be honest with each other. Proxy, we can move on to the next step in fighting the prototype, right? Let's go! Grace went to great lengths to maintain that signal. We can't let her efforts go to waste! Yes! We have enough search data now! Locating the prototype! Optimizing algorithm. Target location confirmed. Bell, your current location is the most suitable one to amplify the signal. Wait a moment. Fairy and I will soon have the prototype's position. Calculating coordinates. Prototype location found. Generating a map of the area. Reminder, since there are no working cameras in the hollow, the map was generated using street camera images from many years ago based on the coordinates. I'm sending you the map Fairy has drawn up. Ah, got it. Let me see. Hmm, it's not very clear. I can just about make out a strangely shaped tower. Grace, let me see that. Uh, 
this is. What's wrong, Ben? Is there a problem with the prototype's location? President, back then, just before the former president disappeared, Bellabog was awarded construction rights for a project in a new development area, the Pioneers Memorial Plaza. This isn't a tower. It's a monument in the center of Memorial Plaza. What? The prototype is located in the plaza that the old man never finished? But... But why? I don't know what's going on, but looking at the picture, I have a bad feeling about it. The prototype's sudden appearance... It's like the president is trying to tell us something. Right. Didn't Friday say Horse was calling it? You're overthinking it. It might have brought up the name Horse, but an enlightened sinner, stabilizing the seal, it's all nonsense. But I am curious about what the prototype is doing here. We should go check it out. Finally, we found it! The monument is just ahead. We're almost there. This is a pretty rough path, so watch your step. Anton! Let the proxy sit on the machine! Grace? Is something wrong? You're so slow. Me? Oh, I was just thinking about something. Good. If you're hurt and trying to hide it from me, you'll be in for it. Hey, sweet pea. We're family. Don't be mean. What? When I was in danger earlier, you called me sis, right? <sighs> Memories. <laughs> I haven't heard you call me that since you became the president of Bellabog. Really? I didn't notice. I must have yelled it without thinking. In the heat of the moment, I saw the danger you were in, facing those ethereals, and my mind went blank. I could only think of one thing. I don't want to lose another family member. You risked your life for Bellabog's future. But as president, there was nothing I could do. I haven't been a very good president. Keep saying that and I'm going to get angry, Sweet Pea. I know better than anyone how hard you've worked these past years. You're still growing, but you work from early in the morning to late at night. Am I gonna need to be the one to tell you you're not a machine? You say you're not interested in technical stuff, but your desk is all stuffed with my well-worn technical papers. Even though they're well-written. A kid your age, I don't know. Shouldn't you be reading comics or something? Compared to you, maybe it's me who's incompetent. I said that I was doing it for the future of Bellabog. But perhaps I was just trying to salvage Uncle Horse's legacy. I thought, if you could just see the prototype in person, you'd understand what an amazing man he was. It's sad to think someone that outstanding is rejected by his own daughter. Sis. But ever since that day you said I knew nothing, well, I noticed some clues and started connecting the dots. Koleda. Have you been hiding something about Horse? I... The night Dad went missing, I saw him leave with my own two eyes. It was late at night, and I was woken up by the sound of a phone call from the living room. I came out of my room to see what was going on, and I saw him clutching this bulging bag. He was planning to leave without saying goodbye. I had a bad feeling about it, so I ran over to stop him. I asked him where he was going, but his bag was yanked open, and I saw it was filled with stacks of banknotes. I learned later, it was the money missing from Bellabog's accounts. I 
had no idea something like that happened. <laughs> yeah. After that, plus the public security report, I just can't believe in him as much as you guys do. So you suffered alone all these years? Why didn't you tell anyone? Wouldn't it have been easier to just get it out? Uh, who knows? I guess I thought if I said it out loud, that'd officially make him a bad person. <laughs> but you're right. I do feel better. Just promise me one thing, Sweet Pea, okay? Whatever happens in the future, we face it together. Bellabog is your home. Even without Horse, me, Anton, and Ben, we're all your family. Okay, I promise. Besides, how's that saying go? Facts aren't always the truth. Maybe Horse had another reason for leaving that day. I'm not asking you to accept my point of view, but the mystery surrounding Horse will always haunt Bellabog, so we'll keep looking for answers. Right now, our priority is finding the prototype. Let's get going. This is it. The Memorial Square Bellabog built back then. Look! There's a big white thing over there by the monument! The slick colors, the handsome lines. Yes! That's the prototype! But why is it in that bizarre position? Hmm. I agree. It does look a bit unnatural. Like it's actively clamping down on the monument. Did something happen here? Ben, Anton, you guys go take a look around the monument. I'll take Grace and the proxy to take a look at the cockpit. Roger that. Phew. You two be careful in there. The prototype has been in the hollow for so long that it may have been corrupted in some places. Don't worry. The cockpit was well sealed. It's still pretty clean inside. Huh? This... This is... No mistaking it. That's a bullet hole. That's not all, Kaleida. Just look around. There are bullet holes all over the cockpit. What? What happened here? The casings all fell inside the cockpit. So the gun was fired at close range. It looks like there was a struggle here. But with how much time has passed, it's impossible to tell if anyone was shot. Hmm? There's a stack of notes on the center console. Wait. This is... Ben! Anton! Get over here! The proxy has found something! What is it, President? Look at this! That's a bill for the prototype! Not only does it have President Horse's signature, it has the date and amount on it, too. Yeah. The amount is the same as what disappeared from the company's accounts, and it matches the time of Horse's disappearance. So that means... Horse took the money to pay for the prototype manufacturing. Aha! I knew a guy like Horse would never do something like running away with company funds! Horse's name can be cleared with this receipt as evidence! Uh, wait. Could it be possible Horse was the one that drove the prototype here? But why? And why did he disappear? We can't be sure about anything just yet. But with all those bullet holes in the cockpit, something terrible must have happened. The old man... My dad... didn't run away of his own accord. But then he hasn't come back either. In all likelihood, he's already dead. Damn it! I get it now. That phone call right before he left, it was just so weird! He was saying stuff like, you want me to pretend like nothing happened, and... What exactly is in there? Dad must have gotten involved in something dangerous. But what did he find? Why didn't he tell anyone before he... 
Don't worry, Kaleida. We'll find the answers. I just checked the prototype. The external memory unit in its logic core is intact. It must still have records from back then. I'll start analyzing the data the moment we bring the prototype back. We'll find the truth behind Horse's disappearance. That's right, President. We'll find a way. Nathan is ready to help whenever you need it, Kaleida. Everyone. Yeah, you guys are right. As President, I can't keep feeling sorry for myself. Okay, let's get this prototype back! Over this way. A little more. Careful. Slowly now. That's it! Steady now, steady! No worries, I'm on it! <laughs> Job done! Let's go. We're all finished here. Hmm. Huh? Wait, I seem to have forgotten something very important. Right, the seal. My mental horse sent me a message telling me to strengthen the seal. <sighs> but what could the seal actually be? in the monument is it an ethereal doesn't look like one but yet ether levels are shockingly high Shock! Proxy, you've seen all sorts. What kind of monster is this? It doesn't look like an ethereal, but it doesn't look like a corrupted human either. What's wrong, Belle? What in the world? Oh no! Hans, find it! Come in! Their signals are gone, and ether readings are still increasing. Be careful, everyone! Huge! Can absorb the machines? This monster's aura. I've never felt like this before. Can't believe that was in the monument. Dad, is this what he? Because he found this. President! 
President! He's completely covered in smoke and dust! Calm down. Our sleepy is not that delicate. Big one, just focus on the enemy! Oh! You're under the line!
Bell, look who's here. Yo, Proxy! What's up? Kaleida, are you feeling better yet? Eh, don't worry. It's just a few scratches. They're almost all healed up. I kept saying I was fine, but my sister and Anton insisted I get a bunch of tests to the hospital just in case I have ether corruption. I understand why they're worried. You were in the prototype fighting that monster at close range for a long time. We didn't know if it could cause any special harm to humans. <laughs> I guess you're right. Speaking of which, how goes the investigation into the monster in the prototype? Oh, that's actually the reason I came. Let's start with the monster. Public security called this morning, said they're making the necessary technical preparations to recover the monster's remains. Oh, that's good. The monster's remains are pretty unique, so I thought it'd take public security longer to deal with. Yeah, that's thanks to those two pubsick girls who came to investigate the scene. But we can't just wait around while they investigate the monster. Can I leave this thing to you, Phaethon? This chip-like thing is the external memory unit from the prototype's logic core you mentioned before, right? Right, exactly. Back then, when he found the monster was hidden in the monument. My dad must have driven the prototype there with the intention of destroying it. If that's the case, there may be some clues left within the external memory unit. But my dad used a special encryption process, so we have no way to read the data inside. I hate to ask, but can you help? There's no need to be so polite, Kaleida. Besides, we actually have our own reasons for wanting to look into the monster. We'll find a way to decrypt the data inside. Don't worry. Great, then I'll leave the storage unit with you. I have a meeting with a supplier, so I'll be heading out. Take care. Good luck with the project. See you soon. I'll be waiting for some good news from you. It feels like Kaleida's demeanor has changed since we first met her. She's become a more mature president. I never expected what seemed like a simple commission to unearth Bellabog's past and involve such a mysterious monster. Bell, if I recall correctly, didn't you say something about your eyes feeling strange when that monster started emanating energy? Yeah, it didn't last long, but my eyes started to feel uncomfortable. There's definitely something off about where that monster came from. It might have something to do with that thing we've been trying to find out about. Anyway, the remains were handed over to public security. We have to find a way to decipher the information on this storage unit. Barry, since we've increased our electricity bill fivefold to keep you going, you should be able to decipher it, right? I'd be happy to be of service, Master. However, given the need to decipher it quickly, your current system's computing power, and your electricity usage requirements, I do not recommend doing it here. There is a hacker on Internaut, codename Rain, who, judging by their resume, fits your current needs. This person has also done business with Nicole from The Cunning Hairs. Rain? I've heard of her, Belle. She's a first-rate proxy when it comes to cracking encryption. Since she's Nicole's acquaintance, we'll have an easier time contacting her. Nicole would never miss an opportunity to use her contacts to cover her debts, after all.
Here, here. Exceptionally pleasant, like the rich aural aroma of a tune in D minor. This one's flavor goes on and on. I'll be waiting for your next visit. Flavor of music would you like to try today? I'll be waiting for your next visit. Made Rena at your service. One, two. How can I help? Time for some hard labor. <laughs> <laughs> 